Hey, I'm Louis Peluso. This channel is brand new. It's about music production gear review, and I'm going to give you everything I know. So please, if you're interested in this kind of videos, consider subscribing and, and clicking on the bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. And, and welcome, please enjoy. Today, I'm doing another video about the lovely Novation Circuit tracks and rhythm. There are two sequences and synths that work as a standalone. But today we're going to be checking out how to connect them to our favorite software to record them. And also we're going to check out how to sync them to be able to press play on the computer and these two to start by themselves without having to click on them, which is really, really easy. And this works with any synth regarding the brand, any synth that has connection over USB. And also we're going to see how to export the multi-tracks we create inside of these and have them in our software, in our door, to be able to do a separate mix. So our first step is to make sure that the circuit is connected via USB, that we have the little port here for USB-C. We have to make sure it's connected to the computer. Once it's connected to the computer, we're going to open up our software that is going to be Pro Tools. We're going to make a brand new track for each of these, and we're going to go into Setup, MIDI, and Beat Clock. The important thing that one has to understand is that different kinds of gear are able to sync between each other using MIDI. So you can use MIDI with the DIN connector or you can use USB to, to transmit MIDI. That's what I find most comfortable nowadays since all of the different synths come with their own app and you can do lots of different variations that if you only connect it via MIDI, you won't be able to enjoy all of the features. So once we go into our beat clock, we're going to select both our circuit tracks. Once we have our circuit track selected, every time we press play on Pro Tools, both of these external sequencers are going to start playing whatever they have loaded. And the sequencer is going to become a slave to the master tempo. The master tempo is controlled by the software, by the door. So you will see that if you press play on the sequencer, nothing will happen, you have to press play on the computer. So that's a really cool feature that will also allow us to synchronize two of these without having to use the sync connection behind it, which is really cool because then you can synchronize any kind of sequencer or synth you have connected at your studio. So let's go to the computer. So we have selected both circuit rhythm and tracks. We click OK. And now we open two stereo tracks to be able to feed in the audio in. So one for each, the first one will be rhythm and the second one will be tracks. Now we select the correspondent input for each of them. And now, as we can hear, we have sound coming from the tracks and sound coming from the rhythm. So now if I hit play from the computer, both circuits will be totally in sync. This is really easy and really cool. So now we can hear the rhythm only. And let's hear the tracks. So I'm getting the drums from the rhythm and the melody from the tracks. So the cool thing is that now we get 16 channels of multi-tracking that we can make between both of them and getting the best feature out of each one of them. And as you can hear, they're both in sync. I'm going to be leaving affiliated links to both of these below. You can check them out and that helps the channel a long way. So thank you for the support. And also remember to check out the playlist I, I will leave below in the description with more videos teaching you how to use Novation Circuit. So now you can tell that I can press play and both of these will come to life and be, will be perfectly in sync and with the same BPM. So now I'm going to teach you how to export our multi-track from the sequencer to our door so we are able to mix it and carry on producing our tracks. So unfortunately the USB connection does not transmit audio. That means that Novation yet can't do an app that allows us to 
simply connect this to an app and for it to export every single file of each track because here we have eight different tracks and that would be really cool for it so you are able to mix it in your computer and carry on producing it really fast so that's not a case so it's a bit more complicated to export your song so what you have to do is go into your mixer and normally you have all the channels on which their own color will light up you see i click on the mixer here so if we turn them off and just click on one, we'll be able to just record the first track. So the good thing is like we synchronized it first at the beginning of the video. So now each time I, I press record and play, the song will start from the beginning. So I can create a new track for every single track inside of the circuit. So that will allow me to record individually each track. So I turn off the one I already recorded, turn on the next one and hit rec and it'll record all the way through and then we do the same process for each of the tracks. It's a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it and you are able to later on mix it as you like without having to use the internal mixer, which is also very good, but it gives you more flexibility to send it to the computer. So here I have a beat that I made. So this beat has six tracks in total. So I have the first synth, the second one, and four drum tracks. So we're going to mute them all and start one by one, like I said before. So I'm going to duplicate this. I want six tracks, so I'm going to duplicate it five times. And I'm going to paint them in the color that I usually use. So it's yellow for the drum tracks. And then I use uh, brown for the bass and blue for the synth. So let's name the first track to kick and let's record that track. So let's go to the beginning of the session and let's hit record. So let's turn on the click track to make sure that everything is in sync. So we're going to go to the snare track. Everything is perfectly in sync. So let's go to the next track now. Hi-hat. Now the next one. So we're going to select the start and the end points. We have like a sample of a vocal here. And now let's go and record some bass, which I have it in the synth number one. And now we're going to do the same with the melody that is on synth two. Tasty. Now finally let's listen to how it sounds summed in Pro Tools versus how it sounds summed inside of the unit of the circuit tracks. This is very interesting because both of them will have a different process and a different master kind of limiter. So let's have a, a listen. So this will be the tracks directly. So now let's compare between the tracks and Pro Tools. This tracks, this Pro Tools. So I think that um, the unit sounds a bit tighter because it has like a limiter into it or something. But the advantage of using Pro Tools is that you can later on mix it and master it and have more flexibility on your sound. So I hope that was easy. Leave me some comments below if you thought so, or if you want to leave me some questions, I'll gladly read everything you leave and try to respond as many as I can. 
please consider subscribing. This channel is all about teaching music production and, and teaching how to use your own gear in the best way possible. So please join me in this long journey that will be this beautiful YouTube channel. Of course, I'll leave everything linked below if you want to check them out. It helps support the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Louis Biluso. Bye bye.